Hola amigos, my name is Felipe and today we're gonna learn how to add some sauce in our Imp Legas theme. So we're gonna show how to add some custom CSS to make your Legas theme match with your brand and differentiate from your competitors. So and a quick question, what do you think which one is the Imp version? I will just give a second for you to check that. A, B, or C. I think lots of users think that only the option A is the AMP version. So the reality is the three versions are AMP version. So many users think that if you want to use AMP, you need to use that classic version. But it is a long time ago that we have other options that you can do some customization even without code and the classic theme. The classic theme now is called Legacy theme, as we talked before, was created in 2017. That theme is still widely used because of the easy way to implement AMP on that. And also it's a super fast theme. But there is a problem there. Because if you don't do any customization, your website will look like hundreds of thousands of websites on the internet. So. If you want to step up for your competitors, the important thing, you do some customization and make your website match with your brand. And you're going to learn today. So, and what are the negative points about the Legacy theme? The first one, it is that it's a solution with five years old and the plugin won't implement any new functionality over the Legacy theme. So the plugin is still supporting that and lots of publishers is still using that, but they build a custom solution and that's okay. So if you want to take care of the legacy thing, so, and also you have a developer team to create new functionality, it is okay. The plugin will still work with the legacy thing, but if you want to make your AMP version, make full usage of the all functionality from the WordPress core, the ideal scenario is use one of the other alternatives. And since the end of 2018, when it was introduced the three different modes, the WordPress plugin allow users to make usage of all of the features from the WordPress core. So in the ideal scenario, it's you use the option B or C. In this case, the option B, we have some custom CSS, custom code that I will show you today. And the option C, it is a reader mode with a compatible theme. In this case, is the Astro theme. You have hundreds of options to customize your website without any code. So now I will show some tips to improve your AMP Legacy theme. But before, where I can add this code? You can add this code at the functions.php or via a plugin. And the safest option it is using a plugin because if you do that on the functions.php and that theme specifically get updated and overwrite this option, you're gonna lose the change that we made. So for we keep safe the, the ideal scenario we do as a plugin. So, and with the M plugin, we have some hooks that we can call in some important moments. In this case, we are using the imp post template CSS. That item it's called when the imp plugin print the CSS. So if I wanna add some custom CSS in my legacy theme, that's the way to do. With that hook, I will just open a function and inside that function, we will import with CSS a uh, Google font, for example. And after there, I will just look for the selector for the items that I want to change the font family and apply that font family that we have imported now. And the result of that, as we can see here, we have also the title of my website using the Avro font and the other headings as well using the Avro font. And we already have something different than the base Amp Legacy theme setting. And the other option that we can do with that, bring in the custom CSS and add some sauce on there, it is change the logo of the website. So for example, that header that we have on the top in our header, we can change that text through a logo. So as we can see here, I create a variable logo URL and I check if I have the custom logo. That function is for the customizer from the WordPress. I'm just checking if someone uploaded a logo to that customizer. So if the user have uploaded that, we're gonna read that information. If not, I will just read this default 
location. So I can put end location here. And after when I do that check, I just add my custom CSS and I call the URL of my logo. And here I can do anything. I can put my logo in the center, on the left, on the right. I can also decide the size of my logo. And the other option, I can also hide the icon that I stay on the right at the legacy theme. And the result of that, I will have the logo in the center of my header and only that, and we're gonna hide our icon. And the other tip is how we can add content only for AMP. We have some conditionals inside the AMP plugin that we can check if that request is a request to a uh, AMP endpoint. And also we can do a check if my request is for a uh, AMP legacy theme. So for example, in this code, I'm adding a filter over the, the content function. And when that function is called, I will just add an extra function that will receive the content and will check if the plugin is installed and how we can do that. We do that checking if the function, for example, is AMP and the point exists in that scenario. If that statement is true, it means that our AMP plugin is installed. In the last check, I will check if it is a AMP legacy theme. In that scenario, I want to include that content only for legacy theme, but if I don't want to do that, if I want to do for any AMP version, I can remove that check. And after that, before my content, I can print, for example, a div with a AMP exclusive content. And that can be anything that is compatible with AMP. And talk about hooks, we have loads of hooks that you can use in your AMP website. For example, here we have the hook when the CSS is printed, this AMP post template body open, it is called when my tag body is open. After that, we have the AMP post template. And after that, we have the AMP post template footer. That one will be called before we close the tag body. One example using the hooks here, we have one action that we add to the hook AMP post template body open. And so for example, I can get information from the post and do some validation or use some conditions to print the content. But in this example, I just print a div with the class AMP banner and a tax special banner. So I can do some custom code and because that item will be on the top of my page, but can be anything, can be a frame, can be a light box, can be any item. So, and that's it. Those are my tips if you want to customize your AMP Legacy theme. And if you need any help with the AMP plugin, please contact us at the official support forum. There you have a team that can help you at wordpress.org slash support slash plugin slash AMP. My name is Philippe. Thanks for watching and ciao.